wisdom. Amen. 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 And until you get to a place where you are tired. That's right. And you get to a place where you are tired of this system. Then you'll change from this system into a God system. Amen. 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 You can change your situation in a few minutes. I'm talking to everybody in here. I'm talking to somebody in here. Because not everybody believes they can change their situation in a few minutes. In a few minutes, you can change your situation. In a few minutes, you can change this. I mean, put a change to this situation. Not, not, not a half an hour, a few minutes. Because the word of God is, is, is powerful and it will penetrate in the area that you need it. And it will quick understanding Jesus. of the scripture. Amen. The Bible says Jesus would Jesus grow in what? Quick understanding. Amen. So the word of God will give you the ability to understand quickly. Yeah. My God. Ah, yeah. You hear what? I, now I understand it. Yeah. Now, and when you understand it, you close doors. Amen. You can't close doors until you understand. Amen. Amen. Until you understand. Amen. Because as long as you understand, you'll keep on complaining. When you can speak those things that be not as it is, I think it. It is, I only believe it. But he said, speak it. But until you understand, you can't speak it. Talk to me, somebody. Oh, so your four sixes, my people, are being destroyed for the lack of job, for the lack of healing. What about house? What about? So knowledge is supersede all of those. Because if you get godly knowledge, then things follow. Amen. That's why he said, first seek ye first the kingdom. So you are going after a kingdom, the kingdom of God. You are pursuing the kingdom of God. Now, the government of God is a part of the kingdom of God. Me, I come from one government into a higher government. That's why Isaiah 9 says that 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 in upon his shoulder the government shall be on his shoulder. He's talking about his kingdom. His kingdom runs by him. Talk to me, somebody. The kingdom of God operates by Jesus. He operates in the kingdom of God. And so when you become a part of this kingdom of God and you know the benefit, then you'll start, you have activate, you start activating your faith and start enforcing what he's saying. Amen. Talk to me, somebody. Amen. It is not enough that's to believe. But you gotta speak based on your belief. You see, we all we are believers, but what you say. Because what you are saying is from a belief system that you believe. Amen. Whatever you say, that's what you believe. Amen. Negative or positive, whatever comes out of you, that's your belief. That's what I believe. Amen. And some of our belief need to be shift. Amen. Because we've been taking too low. Amen. I guess sick in time. That's we say words like that. That is the system of the world. They get sick and they get tired. That sooner or later they die. Uh, but the system of heaven, we don't say we no. sit in what? That should do power your mouth. Uh -uh. That Talk to me, somebody. Amen? Amen. Amen. Because there's no change. There's a new way of thinking. Amen. Where I understood that amen, the kingdom of God is more greater than the kingdom of the world. Amen. And when you learn how to activate the keys of the kingdom, you will have everything what you say. You'll have it. Amen. Do you believe that? Yes. You'll have everything you say. Yes, go Matthew chapter 12, chapter 11, and verse 22, shoot on 24. First, yes, go to verse 14. Because we have to deal with this system. Somebody said we got to deal with the system of the world. Because whatever you doesn't expose, live, to fight you later. Whatever you do not expose, live around, they'll fight you later and overcome you. That's why 
life, you have to deal with every negative situation that is in your life. You have to deal with it. Why is it small? Amen. The Bible said, let a young man bear his burden in his youth. Amen. Talk to me, somebody. Because when you get old, you can't bear it. Amen. So you got to deal with it as you're young. And conquer it and go on. Because whatever you don't conquer will live to conquer you live. Talk to me. Amen. Amen. I see, that's what the devil does. That's what the devil does. He comes back later. The Bible says, after he tempted Jesus for a while, and when the temptation was over, he went for a season. Amen. Talk to me. And he came back on the crucifixion. Come on. When time for Jesus to die, that's when he came back. Amen. I said, I'm telling you, when you don't deal with, with certain things, will we'll come back. And when it come back, it come back more force. Come on, somebody. Amen. It come back with more force. Amen. Amen. For example, the Bible says that amen, when a man, amen, when, when a man comes to Christ, amen, amen, this unclean spirit that was in him come out of him and yeah. wander in dry places. Amen. Seek it rest. And when it find out, it said, Let me go back to my house. Yeah. And when it go back and it find it sweet, it, it don't go in, it goes and gets seven more, more wicked than itself. Mm. And so you gotta want you gotta understand the, 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 the how the system of the devil works. Amen. If you can be successful in conquering the system and overcoming it, you have to understand what it works. The devil, the, the system of the enemy operates through fear and unbelief. Amen. Through fear and unbelief. When you are afraid, the Bible says, Job says, the, the great, these things that I greatly fear come upon me. So in other words, it's not was God that put Job that put Job in a fire. It was Job that put himself in the fire. Talk to me, somebody. So not every time we suffering for God. Sometimes we suffer because we are so fearful. And we get and the things that we fear came upon us. Then when we suffer, we say, Well, Lord, I'm suffering. No, God ain't got nothing to do with that. Your fear gets you there. And now I can take faith to get you where God needs you. Amen. Amen. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, if that's we can start, we can read verse 14 of Mark 11, and then we can move to verse 22. Matthew or Mark? Oh, Mark, sorry. Mark 11, verse 14. Mark 11, verse 14. And Jesus answered and said unto it. And Jesus, now, now Jesus, I'm, I'm, I'm want you to answer. Okay, read verse 15 so we can better understand it. I'm seeing a fig tree afar off. Has Somebody say, seeing a fig tree. Somebody say, fig tree. Fig tree. Somebody say, fig tree. Now, say fig tree does something, does something tap. Amen. That revelation begins to supersede your understanding. See, fig tree. Now, this is not the first time you hear the fig tree. This is not the first time you hear the fig tree. You remember the first time you we heard the fig tree was where? In the garden. Somebody say, in the garden. So now, here comes it now. By nature, God only have two created sons. Yeah. He talks about Adam, the first son, and we talk the second son is the second Adam, which is Jesus. Jesus. You remember, the first son of Adam was made a living soul. So that means that he was not quickened. He was made a living soul. He had no need to be quickened because the God made him in the garden perfect. Hallelujah. So here comes it now. It was a fig tree and the fig fruit that they eat. How do you know they eat it? So we say apple tree, but apple tree in the Bible, you, you that's read it, but that's not that's, that's not that's not here. Amen. Amen. There's no there's no such thing as apple fruit. There's no they, we got the apple tree because it's not there. Amen. The reason why I the reason why I believe it was a fig fruit because they hid themselves with what fig Amen. leaves. Amen. So whatever they eat, they that's dress themselves with it. My God. Talk to me, somebody. Because whatever you eat, you that's dress that's yourself that's with it. Whatever you eat. And so I can know what you eat because you gonna dress like it and you gonna smell like it. My God! Wow! Wow! You see, so and so that's why, and that's why, and that's why, and that's why, that's why I believe, that's why I believe it was a fig fruit that Adam eat that opened up their eyes. Now here comes it. Let's go back now. We didn't clarify that. Now let's go back where we are in in Mark Gospel. Now, Jesus saw the fig tree from where? Uh, Jesus saw the fig tree from where? Uh, now, just remember, the first fig tree happened in the garden. And that, that 
sign was what? Deception. Yes. And man fell for deception. Amen. In Genesis. Amen. Now you go in and, and Mark 11. Yeah. Now you deal with the second Adam. Adam. Because Amen. if the devil can destroy the second Adam like he did the first Adam, yeah. then he'll have creation. My Lord, Jesus. Talk to me. Talk to me. So, so now here comes it now. Here comes now. Jesus now. The enemy allowed Jesus to see the fig tree from a fire. And now upon the fig tree in their season, when, when the season is, is near, all right, there is leaf. So he had to saw the leaf. And the leaf is an indication that there is fruit. So Jesus from a fire saw the leaf. And now he went to, to in there with the intention to eat the fruit. But when he get there, something happened. Something happened. That's what you got to watch on the system of the world. The system of Satan. The saints, the system of the devil will make you think that something is good. And yes. then you get there. Oh, Jesus. My Lord. He moved with, he moved with deception. He's sneaky. He moved with deception. He'll make you, he'll open your eyes and begin to make you think that things will be better yes. if you was over there. But you have to deal with this. See, you, should, you have to deal with the spirit of deception. You have to deal with it because you just cannot rebuke it. And it should be different because when you rebuke something, you just resist it. You gotta, you gotta do more than just rebuke this because this was the same system that defeated Adam in the garden. Amen. And now the system has tried to have not defeated the second Adam. Why, why, why? Let's go to some say go deep. The first prophecy begins in Genesis, the third chapter, where she where God says, the seed of the woman shall bruise. The of the uh, and he shall what? Bruise his what? He. So here comes now, here comes that. So here comes. He had already predicted that though a seed is gonna come out of the woman, that is gonna defeat the enemy. Yeah. So from that time on, the enemy was looking to stop the sea. Amen. That's why we have that disaster in Moses in Exodus, where he, Amen, bring a, a decree to kill all male child. Yeah. Of the one to two years old, kill all. Why? Because he was trying to stop the seed of the woman from the book of Genesis. Yeah. Talk to me, somebody. Talk to me. But Jesus was so undercover. Yes. Jesus was undercover. Jesus was undercover because now he was looking for, amen, faithful folks. And this yes. thing is so deep. But if you, if you study uh, the, 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 the generation of Jesus, you know that his great, 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 great grandmother, she was a prostitute. You know, My God. You know, say, you know, say, you know, so, yes. so what happened now? Because why? Because he's looking for somebody to, to come and have everything right. That's right. She's not a priest. Yes. She, yes. she had issues. Yes. She had a lot of issues. Hallelujah. So that overthrew the devil. So you didn't that's know where right. he's coming up. Here it comes the amen. Amen. And that's where Boaz came from. That's where Jesse came out from. Yes. Jesse. Here comes David from David Jesus. And that's where he Jesus, the line of the Jesus, or the generation of Jesus came out of. Out of Real. Yes. Jesus. Not a good. Uh, I didn't have a good reputation. My God. But she was going for destiny. Yes. I'm telling you, you want to see sometimes a folks, somebody might not have a good reputation. But as long as you know you can call for destiny, you will arrive in the situation. Glory. 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 So now, what Jesus did, he saw from the far off. And what he did, missionary, he saw, he, he saw the tree from the far off. Now he. Country from afar off having leave. Uh -huh. He came if happily he might find anything thereon. My God, so see what he ready to leave. Yeah. yeah. So you come, you'll find her. Remember the in the garden, the, the serpent came to the woman. Yeah. And that is a mystery too. That is a mystery too. It's deep. That is really loaded. Because here comes Lucifer using a, 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 a snake. And now, in these days and time, we say snake or snake is evil. 
now. Snake ah, had even because everything that God created is for his purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Is who get used. Yeah. What is snake doing that time was evil. That's Talk right. to me someone. Amen. Wow. And that is loaded. Just because it's, it's, so, it's so much revelation, it's so much depth 